Sus dai, kyum shmo reya. Let me share another adventure with you. Here I am enjoying my meal and of course, glad to be back with a new video even if it doesn't show. To start my story, last week I flew to Cambodia with the Lob D team. We stayed at their hostel in Siam Reap. It's a newly opened hostel and the place was made more than just a lounge around. It's also a place where you can make new friends, chill, work, and have fun at the same time. Aside from the obviously wonderful stay we had at Lobdi Hostel Siamri, I personally like their idea of having the water refill project where plastic bottles are discouraged and using a water bottle is a must. This project is open for refilling on numerous partnered sites. Cool, huh? To start our day one tour, we all got to taste the local dishes in Cambodia. We drove a couple of minutes away from the hostel to try the dishes at Amok restaurant. Details inside the restaurant was on point. Aside from their astonishing interior, the food presentation was superb. Most of the food came with pineapples, which my closest friend Yuki was allergic to. Apple. So I volunteered to eat all her pineapples. Moving on with the tour. First stop, Angkor Wat Temple. This is the largest temple in Cambodia. It was built 900 years ago, and elephants made a huge help to carry the stones from the mountains to the temple. Angkor means city, and Wat means Ministry of Pagoda for the Buddhist monk. Just an additional information, Angkor Wat was originally known as the Parama Vishnu Nuka, or the temple for the Vishnu God. Angkor Wat is really huge that we all did a lot of walking. It was a good exercise for all of us anyway. As one of the seven wonders of the world, it gets really crowded inside but we're glad we were still able to enjoy its beauty. Second temple of the day, we went to Tafrom. This was the temple featured from the movie Tomb Raider. And finally, to catch the sunset, we made it on time at Bayon Temple. It was highly recommended to visit this temple for sunset because it was best to capture its structure and intricate designs at this time. Heading back to the city on day 2, we spent half a day walking for the city tour. So this is the Buddhist monastery. The religion here is quite strong. Uh, a lot of people believe it and how it works for the temple and the monk. Then later in the afternoon, we rented bikes to see their famous lotus field. It was honestly a long bike trip from our hostel to the field. It took us an hour going to the field and another hour to our hostel. 
it was tiring but worth it in the end if you ask me. We got to enjoy the sunset by the lotus field, took lots of photos again, before we wrap up our Cambodia trip. Now to end, Cambodia was really a wonderful trip infused with rich culture to learn from. And more than that, I'm more happy to gain new friends with this trip. Till our next adventure. A Kuns and Rap Mo video. They see us My rolling, they hating. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>